I'm Miss Terry from the Crystal Lake Public Library. I would like to share a song and a story with you today. I'm going to start out with a song by Jennifer Gassoy, and it's called Song for You. I'll do the signs and you will hear her beautiful voice singing. I'm going to share with you today is called Spring with Lily and Milo. This book is by Pauline Oud and it's published by Clavis Publishing. Spring with Lily and Milo. It's spring. The sun is shining. Lily and Milo are going outside to plant flowers in the garden. What will they wear? A jacket, a warm hat and mittens, new shoes or rubber clogs. What do you think they will choose to wear from those choices of clothes? Should they wear new shoes? Should they wear jackets? Hmm, what about rubber clogs? Well, it's already nice and warm outside. So Lily and Milo don't need their jackets. They don't need hats and mittens, but it could be messy. So they put on their clogs. Do you see them in their clogs? What do Lily and Milo bring with them? A picnic blanket, their blue cart, a big bottle of water, or two cups? What do you think they'll bring with them? Lily and Milo take everything in their blue cart. 
What else do they need? A watering can, perhaps? A trowel? A little rake? What about these beautiful new plants? Let's see. Lily and Milo take the trowel and the little rake with them. The plants and the watering can also go in the wheelbarrow. They need so many things. Look at them. Milo is in the wheelbarrow too. Oh, it's so pretty outside. In the spring, the trees grow new leaves. And the apple tree also has pink blossoms. Lily blows at a dandelion. New flowers will grow from the seeds that fly away. Here is a good place to plant the flowers, Milo, Lily says. She digs little holes and puts plants in the soil. Milo waters the new plants. He's good at it. But what does Milo see over there? An egg. Look at that, Lily. There's an egg right there. It's a beautiful red egg with little white stripes. Whose egg is this? Hmm. Chirp, chirp. Milo and Lily hear suddenly. Look, says Lily, in the tree there's a bird's nest. Did that egg fall out of the nest? Does that look like an egg that would have fallen out of a nest of little birds? Hmm. No. It's not a bird's egg. The bird's eggs aren't red. They're brown with spots. Cheep, cheep. There are already two little birds in the nest. They get a nice worm from their mommy. Now what's over here? A chicken. Quack, quack, quack. Lily and Milo hear a new sound. Maybe the egg belongs to the chicken. Do you think it's a chicken egg? No, it's not the chicken's egg. The chicken's eggs aren't red. They are white and brown. Crack! An egg cracks open. Look, a chick is coming out. Hmm. Quack, quack. Lily and Milo here next. Maybe the egg belongs to the duck. No, the duck's eggs aren't red. They are white. Peep, peep. The ducklings are coming out of their eggs too. But then who does this pretty red egg belong to? It's not a bird's egg. It's not a chicken's egg. It's not a duck's egg. Hmm, it's a... Yes, it's a chocolate egg. Oh, they peeled a little peeling off and they found it was a chocolate egg. Lily and Milo are thirsty. They spread the picnic blanket on the grass they drink some water and eat a snack. What do they eat? The chocolate egg, of course. Yum! Do you like to eat chocolate eggs? It's time to head home. Bye birds, bye butterflies, bye chicks, bye flowers. See you all tomorrow. What a lovely spring day. And that was Spring with Lily and Milo. Thanks for sharing a song and a story with me today.